Hey guys and welcome to Feywood. So I hope you've all had a really nice Christmas holiday period. Um, we enjoyed a week off going to Marimbula which is this lovely beach town in New South Wales and a lot of my husband's family live over there so we went to visit them for Christmas and just also get away um, and have a relax and you know um, go for some walks and all of that sort of thing um, it's a beautiful place and it's great for things like fishing swimming going for walks um, my husband played a lot of golf over there um, I did get some footage but not a lot because we decided not to film you know the house or the family or what have you because you know they haven't chosen to be on YouTube so um, I wanted to keep that all private um, but I did get some footage of some of the walks that we did and some of the beautiful scenery over there in Marimbula. Um, so I'll share a bit of that with you guys now. beach on our lovely Christmas beach holiday and I thought I'd just film a bit of me hopefully you can hear me over these waves because they're pretty loud but how beautiful is that with the ocean um, and some rocks and things down there as well I'll try and get a little bit of footage of our little summer break so that I can share it with you guys but I thought you might enjoy a bit of the beach I'm here too Oh, there's Dan over there. He doesn't want to be on camera though, <laughs> but he's here. <laughs> So you can see how beautiful it is over in Marimbula and um, some of the beautiful scenery and walks that you can do there. Um, we really enjoyed ourselves over there, ate a lot of food, drank wine, went for walks and swims. Um, I didn't take my camera when I went to the beach because I was a little bit worried about it getting damaged or anything like that. So uh, I didn't get footage of some of the swims that we did, but uh, I did try and get a little bit of footage but we were also on a bit of a holiday so I didn't want to spend the whole time filming um, but I thought I'd share with you guys what I got for Christmas as well and some of the things that I bought um, during the Boxing Day sales over there um, I got some really cool things 
so one of the first things I got was this um, as an early Christmas present of Jill um, and it is the Dark Crystal prequel um, and it's a set of like three graphic novels I got really excited because it says Brian Froud on the front and it does seem that the outside is illustrated by Brian Froud and the front of the books are illustrated by Brian Froud um, but the actual uh, images inside are illustrated by a different artist um, Alex Sheikman so a little bit different I was secretly hoping that it was Brian Froud all the way through um, but I am still really um, keen on reading the story and finding out what happens in the prequel and it will be really interesting to see if any of it ties into the new series that's coming out and um, yeah so it'd be really cool to go through and see what the storyline is so very nice little set there if I seem a little bit flat today, it's because I haven't been well for the last few days. Um, that's a pretty common occurrence for me, you guys might have noticed. Um, but I wanted to film this because, well firstly I've got a mess of stuff in here that I need to clear up. So I thought I'll film um, this video so that I can share with you guys what I got and then clear up the room. And, and I've got some exciting projects that I'm working on for videos for you guys as well. Um, so I need some room to do those projects, so stay tuned for that. Um, but anyway, continuing on. So my husband got me this. Um, nice big box from Mecca. And what we did actually was I um, filled up my shopping cart from uh, Mecca with things that I was interested in. But I just selected, you know, heaps and heaps of things so that he could narrow it narrow those down and pick some things that way I knew that I was getting something that I really wanted um, but I didn't know what exactly I was getting so um, I could have done it as a wish list or whatever but I thought oh, I'll, I'll just do it this way and then he could just um, quickly select what he wanted to um, get and remove everything else and you know buy it and that sort of thing and so I'll open this up so one of the gifts was this gift pack from Origins and I've tried a couple of their products and really liked them like their moisturizing um, energy boosting gel moisturizer I really liked um, and this has some masks in it as well just mini masks so it's a good sort of sample pack to see what you like from the brand and you know they have a lot of interesting sounding products and pretty reasonably priced as well so I'm keen to see whether I'm you know liking any of them and may go back and sort of buy full size products if I like it. He got me this um, Stiller pack, uh, the Shimmer and Glows. I don't have any of the Shimmer and Glows, I've got like three of the Glitter and Glows and so yeah keen to give those a try and see what they're like. There's three colours in it. So the colours in this are Kitten, Cloud and Twig. So Kitten's one of the um, more popular colours and the Glitter and Glow version is Kitten Karma I believe um, and it's sort of a, I don't know, platinum, rosy platinum colour. Alright, so these are the colours. You've got Kitten, Cloud and Twig. Uh, and he also got me this gift set from Stiller, which is filled with their mini lipsticks in a whole range of different colours there. Um, 12 different colours and, you know, bright colours through to nudes and everything. So I'm really looking forward to using that. Um, I got a little mini lipstick once out of the Mecca Beauty Loop box. And I really like the way it applies. It's just, you know, really soft and smooth to apply. Um, I find it easy to apply for that reason. It just seems to give a good line. And yeah, I like the color that I have. And so I wanted to try more from the Stiller lipsticks. Um, so I can't wait to give these ones a go. 
So the colours are Illuminaire Shimmer, uh, Bashi, Bashi, B A C I. I don't know how to say that. Backy, Bashi, um, Patina, Fear, Sheer Splendor, uh, Mi Miel Shimmer, uh, Fior, Loom Shimmer, Lume Shimmer, Vino. Sheer Morello, Bezo, and Bezo Shimmer. Um, and he also got me this Urban Decay Starfire uh, liquid eyeliner set. So it's got three colours in it. So the three colours in the set are Starfire, Volume, and Midnight Cowboy. And I won't bother swatching these ones, I think you can kind of gauge from that what they look like. But um, I have been very keen to try some of the glitter liners from Urban Decay because they look so pretty. And that pack ended up being good value, so I thought it was good, a good one. Uh, they gave some samples as well in the um, order because that's what Mecca does, they give usually three samples. So I got this Born to Run foundation, which I haven't tried, so that will be good. And it looks like it's got three different satchels there. Um, vanilla, light beige, and sand. So hopefully one of those is light enough for my skin. We'll see. I've got Kate Somerville. Um, which one is it? The cleanser, again, haven't really tried a lot from her, but I hear good things about a lot of her products. They're a little bit on the pricey side though, so, um, but it'll be interesting to see if I like that one. And a Smashbox Superfan Mascara, uh, another one that I haven't tried, so that will be interesting to see how that goes. So that was my gift from Dan. I also got a little gift from... Uh, the Secret Santa at work. So it was just these little uh, craft buttons which a lot of people looked at me strangely for because we got to, with the Secret Santa, the way they set it up you can actually select specifically what you want so that your Secret Santa gets things that hopefully you're into which is I think a really great idea um, and one of the things I selected was you know buttons like craft buttons um, so people were sort of looking at that going oh buttons um, but I really like them for jewelry and you know it was something just easy and fun that I can do some projects with so um, really like that and it's a cute little bag that it comes in as well so that was nice um, from my friend Jen I got a few different bits and pieces one of them is this cute little headband so I'll probably pull this out in some get ready with me videos or what have you if I remember um, and you know keep my hair back with it it's so cute so really love that um, she got me this little bag which is pretty on its own and then inside it's got like a little snowflake and some little glass beads it had some chocolates in there as well, but somebody ate those. <laughs> so cute little snowflake and that's going to look nice as a decoration for next year for Christmas. And these little glass bead things. And then she also got me this candle from Dusk, which I love. And it smells beautiful. So here it is. How pretty is that? So pretty. And there's the candle inside it. Oops, that's just the little protector thing. Um, but yeah, they had all different colours of these I saw at dusk, and I was actually almost going to buy one for myself. So I was really excited when I saw that she bought one for me because I love them. They're so pretty. So that was from Jen. I'm still um, yet to do some Christmas catch-ups with people, so um, 
you know, my mom and sister and everyone, we haven't exchanged gifts yet. So um, that'll be next week, actually. So I don't have anything to share from them. Um, so that's it as far as presents go. And then the rest I'll show you is just some things that we bought while we were in Marimbula um, at some of the Boxing Day sales and that sort of thing. Um, and a few other things that I picked up just before Christmas. So I picked up these beautiful sparkly shoes in Marimbula and I just love that almost like a leaf design on the front there. I think it's already got some cat hair on it as per usual. Um, but I thought they were so pretty and really like that sort of gold tip on the shoe there. Really nice shoes and just you know very flat sandal type shoe. We went into JJ's and my husband spotted some Harry Potter tops so and Fantastic Beast so I got this hopefully you can see that gotta get the light shining right um but yeah just a nice gold foiled Fantastic Beasts uh, t-shirt which I love um, and they had it sort of deal where you could get two for 40 I think um, and this Hogwarts t-shirt so I really love those and just before we went through the checkout he also saw this the Slytherin um, scarf for five dollars it was the last one I couldn't believe it was only five dollars and it was actually cold on one of the days we were there so I actually wore it while we were on holiday um, but I just love this I think this is brilliant and so it's got the big Slytherin along the banner there and then the crest on both sides it's a really well made scarf so very happy with that um, I picked up a little t-shirt from the Target they had there um, and it just says undefined which I think is pretty good slogan for me I always feel like I don't fit into any nice mold um, which is something I both love and hate <laughs> You know, I think I've touched on it before, you know, that sort of feeling like a misfit, which is that double-edged sword of, you know, being unique and individual and that sort of thing. And then also feeling like you don't really fit in anywhere. Um, but I've really started to embrace my individualism and, you know, realize that that's something special to me and that's who I am. So I just, I'm trying to lean into that a bit more now. Um, but I thought this was super cute. I love the little ruffle at the bottom. I'm not normally like a frou-frou-y sort of ruffle person. Um, but I just think that's really, you know, unusual to have a ruffle at the bottom of a t-shirt. So I just kind of liked it. And this one's just kind of plain, but I, I liked it. Um, and it was on special. <laughs> um, it was just a t-shirt with little butterflies, silver butterflies on it and that was from Just Jeans and it just looked really nice and casual so and it was only ten dollars so I got that one um, but then this I love this was a little bit more but worth it I'm gonna have to stand back so this is a beautiful skirt that sort of stonewashed looking material and beautiful uh, pattern detail down the bottom you can see how it's got those little triangles of um, a pattern detail and then the stitch work around it as well um, I love this grey sort of smoky colour it really reminds me of something from like holy clothing holy clothing um, I love it I think it's so pretty it was like almost too long 
for me which was the only possible downside but it did end up fitting so I was happy about that I can't remember the name of the shop now yeah I can't remember the name of the shop now but it was a similar sort of style shop to Ishka if you're in Australia you'll know Ishka if you're not um, I don't know it's just sort of like a, a spell shop uh, with you know incense and alternative clothes and you know beautiful throw cushions and um, spell books and tarot cards that sort of you know shop and had all sorts of beautiful clothes like this and yeah this one she gave me a discount because it was um, boxing day so it was 69 she gave it to me for 60 so I was happy about that I loved it I was gonna buy it anyway because I just fell in love with it and then a couple other bits and pieces I got I've been trying to find perfumes that I, I really love and I went into Lush and smelled some of their perfumes. Um, I heard someone talking about some of the perfumes being really good and I thought oh, I'll go in and have a smell because I've never tried their perfumes before and you know maybe I'll find something that I really love and the price was really reasonable you know somewhere between 35 and 50 the perfumes um, this one was 35 so very reasonable this one's called lust I love the smell of it um, it's really pretty and I was going in to try and smell Lord of Miseral um, which I've heard a lot of people uh, you know liking it which is a patchouli sort of a peppery patchouli smell and I thought could be interesting um, but they don't have it in store so you have to just buy it online so I thought no I'll just smell the other ones and see if there's anything that I like and this one I like um, and it's got things like rose in it jasmine ylang ylang uh, vanilla sandalwood um, so it's a very um, sultry sort of you know musky like the sandalwood is brings out that kind of I don't know if musky is the right word but spicy smell with the rose the sweet rose and jasmine as well I just I think it's really nice so I've enjoyed that one I really liked vanillary I think was the other one that I smelled that I really liked um, and I'm still thinking about getting the online one the Lord of Miserable Miserable I'm not sure how to say that um, Still thinking of getting that one just to see because they're so reasonably priced that um, and I, I like a lot of the scents they had so I feel like you can't go too wrong with it. So I'm tempted to get that one but yeah really like that. And then I got a couple of um, nail polishes. I wanted to paint my niece's nails while we were there so I got a couple of just the sinful colours ones that were on special. So sparkly purple and this um, shiny iridescent purple this is more of a top coat though it's very thin whereas this one you can just wear on its own um, but I like the sinful colors they're pretty good um, coverage pretty comparable to other brands as far as wearability I mean most most nail polishes if they're not actual gel nails will crack and things over time um, so I don't know I think they're pretty good and then I got that one actually in, in the mail the other day I bought this months ago honestly um, through Ozsale and they had a free shipping thing going on I actually got this and a purple mascara thinking maybe they'll be useful for the goblin ball and you know I only got them now so um, they weren't useful and the other and the mascara was refunded because they ran out of stock so not so useful um, this is pretty though I haven't tried Ciate before as far as nail polishes I've got one of their um, lip glosses but I haven't tried their nail polish and this is a pretty color the purple sparkly you can see I'm quite a fan of purple nail polish <laughs> Um, and last thing is some earrings that I got because I had 50% off earrings this was at Rockman's I think um, so I really liked those they're just 
a nice silver with a blue kind of inlay and they were only about seven eight dollars I think so very nice and then these um, kind of rose gold looking ones with a pinky orange center um, sort of like a coral coral color with the rosy gold on the outside I thought they were really fun kind of summery earrings so and for the price being so cheap I thought they'd be you know nice to wear so I got those and this was one that I got ages ago on eBay um, but again it took a while to get here and I haven't tried these on yet so I hope they work um, but they're the ear climbers so they're designed to like it's got the stem not all ear climbers are the same but this one and another pair that I have have the stem that goes through your ear and then the other part has a clip I don't know if you ever see it it's got a clip to clip onto the ear so I haven't tried one with a clip part I've had ones with more of a hook part that you sort of press over your ear um, but yeah they were I thought they were cute I would have preferred red roses or darker roses but I still liked the design of that one and the only other thing that I've I got recently over Christmas you can kind of see in the background if you see that light up tree back there behind my mannequin um, I bought that online they were um, going really cheap because it was just before Christmas and I thought it would be fun to have that it to me didn't look specifically Christmas it looked a little bit fairy like um, but I thought I could still use it in the background for you know dress it up for Christmas dress it up for Easter or whatever um, and it's just got lots of pretty colors that light up and you know you can change the settings of how it um, runs and I've popped it popped it just behind the mannequin for now um, but I might pull it out you know in front if I've got like a Christmas video or I'm doing up the tree or something like that um, and it was like $30 so I thought it was a really great price so anyway that's all the things that I got over Christmas um, either buying them as part of sales or as presents um, I hope you've enjoyed having a look to see what I've got and um, you know I hope you guys got some lovely things that you liked or you bought yourself something nice that you liked because a lot of times it ends up being you know presents to yourself and which is absolutely fine because you know what you like so um, yeah I hope you enjoyed this video make sure to hit subscribe if you want to see more of me and otherwise I'll see the rest of you next time bye guys